What do you see when you look into the face of a nightclub doorman? The bouncer. A fighter. A bully. A hard man of repute. I bet you don't see a husband, father, a brother, a son. People think that working the door is easy. They sit there with plank in their eye looking at you like you're a piece of shit. A baby or a fucking serial killer. They don't think that when you're putting some fucking lump off them, some cunt who's going to end them. You know what? And this is the irony. The ones that like you the least, normally those with a year of university philosophy under their pacifist belts and absolutely no fucking idea about the reality of life outside a college campus. They're the ones that need you most when shit and fan meet. I mean, for fuck's sake, have a philosophy, that's what does it for you. You know what I'm saying. And where you can, walk softly. That's why I'm in here, in the gym. With the iron and the testosterone and the gurning faces growing a fuck off stick. Some bodily armour. You never know when it might be all that's standing between a blade and a soft place. Until some head banger pulls a life ender from his pocket and points it in your direction. Back into the arena. Sound brave, fearless, take a closer look. The foot tapping is to hide the tremor of fear that has made its way to my knees. We're all full of fear, to the brim. Some of us just died it better than others. Just because they walk away don't mean they ain't coming back. It definitely don't mean it's over. You think I'm jesting? You think that this is not a serious employ? Three of my mates already got their young names in the obituary column because they underestimated the threat. Steve, young guy, barely out of pampers. Didn't comprehend the crack. He took a Saturday night baseball bat across the Sweden and died on the Tuesday. Jimmy, funny man. You'd have your burst in your corsets all night. Broken glass in the neck. Five pints of red in the beer, sticky carving before we could even get to him. And then there was John. Old samurai have a saying, after the battle, tighten your helmet straps. At the end of the shift is the most vulnerable time for a doorman. You're tired. You're looking forward to a quiet drive home down empty roads. A thought away from a warm bed. In your mind's eye, you're already there. You're slipping under the blankets, head on the pillar. You lay the emanating heat. You mould yourself into her back. She stirs. She's sleepy. Turns into you and kisses your face. In. You're in heaven.